Well, hello artists, welcome to the Impossible Kingdom. Welcome to another weird episode of Creatures. I'm going to be using these cards, 150 different cards. See what comes to your imagination you can draw along. Today I'm going to be drawing with the watercolor crayons that I like. You can pick just regular crayons or color pencils or just black and white if you want that. Just a pencil, doesn't matter. As long as you get your pencils moving, scribbling, scratching, hit your head scratching, crack your imagination up and have some fun. Let's get these cards going and see. Oh, by the way, before we get too far, I have a very special shirt on for a very special viewer who says he watches, so we'll see. Hope you like it. Let's see which cards that we can come up with. Small creature here, small animal, starfish, okay. Medium subject, we're gonna go with one here. Oh. This thing, an owl, an owl starfish. Okay, okay, oops, I'm not peeking. I'm not even, I could use this one, but I'm not going to. Go with this thing here, zebra, okay. So, starfish, owl, zebra, we never know what's gonna come out of this, but hopefully it's something weird, wacky, and fun. The detail cards, there's 75 of these. Let's see which way this spins our imagination. Let's go in the middle somewhere. Princess, that sounds fun, okay. Okay. Starfish, owl, zebra, princess, start your engines, get your creative stuff going, and let's go. Pick an animal that you like best, if you like the body shape of one of these best. I like the stripes of the zebra, I like the body shape of the owl, and the legs of the starfish, so that's probably what I'm gonna do. Maybe it'll be an owl somehow, an owl that has, I don't know, maybe has five ears. It's still gonna have these, still wanting to have these talons on here. Maybe grabbing a, a stick somewhere in here. Uh, we need to make these zebra stripes right and then we need to have one more actually the, these can be longer so look more like the starfish all right so on the redraw i need to make him lower that's why i sketched these out so we're gonna put uh five pieces like that as a weird little body and then this owl they have these really cool eyes that they hunt with at night so i'm gonna make huge owl eyes and if you're if you're wondering how to make an eye, I don't know if, if you're wondering if you make a human eye. I make these eyes kind of like human eyes, but quick quick eye tutorial here for those of you who need it. When you draw an eye, uh, human eyes, they kind of go up and out. Some some are flat on the top and go down like that, right? Most commonly drawn, I guess, would be almond shape, kind of like that. Some eyes slant up like this. Some eyes droop down like this so that when you when you put eyeballs into any of those just a circle they look totally different so these are kind of bad here to two together but anyways uh, i'll draw them here so some slant up and come down like that you can draw eyes a million different ways but either way most eyes will have the center uh, so there's a there's a dot in the middle and i like to put like a highlight on them so if you dead center is the pupil there and uh yeah i keep it pretty simple but they have like eyes come on anyhow there's a bunch of different eyes so these owl eyes on my dry i just want them really big so same thing and then he's gonna have this cool little beak on here that he eats his rodents with and owls have giant eyes because they can see way 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 better than us they're like uh they're like cats you know so like hunting cats not house cats actually i think house cats have good vision too so i don't know i'm not a cat so here we go i'm going to transfer this over to this and see what we come up with so i need to keep the same odd little body shape that's hanging on to this uh tree i'm going to put more of a tail on there it's going to have a, a branch to hang on to and then we'll have this guy with the leg there i want him to kind of look like ears all right, and then we'll have one in the back, back here. So this is gonna come in front, and then still gonna one, two, three, four, put one in the middle. So this will be kind of behind, I'll be behind the whole thing there. And then uh, it's gonna need some little feathers that come down, make it scary looking. And then on top of that, we're gonna need that, that beak. Oh, I forgot, we gotta make a princess. I forgot we had to make a princess out of this. So I'm gonna put a crown on here. You should see me in a crown. 
Okay, so for this crown, I'm just gonna put jewels and stuff on this. And then this will be behind that. Eh, now you can't see it. So I'm gonna move that last, the fifth one, to be back here, maybe. There, now it has five legs. See what we did there? I had to move, I had to move that one over here because otherwise the princess crown does not work. All right, okay, so that's gonna be gold. I need these eyes to be on here. Sorry, this is how this is how most of my I don't pre-plan these drawings, so it's kind of hard to come up with the with the drawing immediately. But I try to keep it as as fast as possible, right? For you. All right, there's the giant eyes. It's gonna have cool little right in the center of these owl eyes. Little highlight there, and then uh, right in the middle, that thing comes down. This is an odd looking thing. We have that, and then on top of this, at the end, I'm gonna put zebra stripes on all this so that you can uh, see his body versus not being able to tell. So it'll, it'll help shape with these zebra lines that come in. I'm gonna add a leg on here, and another leg over here. This is not an underwater owl. This is an above the water owl. All right, we're still gonna have little feathers on here that go that way. This leg will come out and grab this branch, so that I'm going to put another weird foot on here as most look my goal is to have fun while drawing if I wanted to draw normal regular stuff I would just do that but I like challenging you and myself to draw something that doesn't exist I can draw portraits all day long or I can draw whatever but for me it's not as fun as when you actually pull something out of your brain and throw it on the paper and make somebody feel something or laugh or Whatever that is, so that's what I do. That's what I try to do. It's looking very weird. I'm gonna ink this, and then since I know I'm gonna put watercolor on this, I wanna make sure not to use ink that's gonna run. So if you're gonna add water to yours, make sure that you don't use stuff that is affected by water. I'm actually gonna use a bold, my bold Posca here, and then this Posca will help to uh, hold some of, the, some of the ink color better. This is definitely a weird one. For those of you wondering if it's a tail, yes, it's a tail. And since I'm gonna treat this, I treat some of my stuff kind of like uh, coloring books, or I have a coloring book out, but when I do, when you do a coloring book, you want to be able to color different stuff, so maybe it'll have like a rainbow tail, I don't know, since she's a princess. I'll draw this crown on here, and it'll start to make sense with the color and the zebra stripes, the, it'll start uh, shaping stuff up. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is the crown. See, I'm getting confused already. And then this will be the crown. Now the inside of the face. Again, usually I don't ink with this particular one. It's really thick line that it puts out, but trying something different. And you can use, you know, whatever you have at home. Okay. I'm going to Use a sharpie for some of the smaller details now. I go back in here, and then we also need to do the the starfish zebra patterns. So let me get these eyes here. Eyes turned out pretty cool. And then if you're wondering how to do these eye lines, or if you like how I did them, I usually from the center I draw straight out to the sides so that every direction you go it goes straight out from the center so okay so I'm just trying to put jewels all over this princess princess crown here all right that's fun ink this branch looking thing and now I'm gonna do these zebra stripes with this actually you know what I'm gonna use the sharpie this will be easier so I like using a brush Brush pens will actually lay down a little bit better. And so if I use this one, it doesn't matter what brand, but just make sure it doesn't ink, leave uh, bleed in water when you do it. So now I'm gonna lay this down. Zebra stripes come in here. So all across there. And if you do them right, you can kind of help shape the body some. Woo! And this marker is a strong smelling marker. Okay, so I kind of want these to look like eyelashes. I'm leaving that like that. I don't know what color this thing's gonna be. So all I'm doing is pushing a little bit harder on the uh, edges where I want a little darker stuff. Okay, almost there. Got these legs. All right, 
go under the toes you can. I guess it might have that same cool coloration on the toes. That's all I'm doing right now. Now I'm gonna move on to color. I'm gonna do this blue, like baby blue. It's gonna have a, I like this, these uh, watercolor crayons because they go on really easily. So I'm choosing blue because I assume the, the crown, the princess crown will be gold or copper or something. So I haven't really decided yet, but I will in just a second. So for now, I'm making everything blue just because I like that color on this. You have to decide what works for you, obviously. A little more color here. And then I'm actually gonna make the beak and the claws this yellowy, yellowy looking thing. So some of this off of here. Once you put this color on and the pencil and stuff, it's a lot harder to get the pencil marks back off of it, as you will find out. All right, we have the claws coming in. That, I'm gonna add a little more orange to this. Part of the reason I like these is because they're, so they're so quick and kind of messy. That's how my uh, process works best. So if you don't like how it looks, you can color it however you want, obviously. All right, so I'm gonna make this little furry patch gray back here and then I'm actually gonna do a little rainbow rainbow tail so I'm gonna go green got blue already maybe a purpley and then an orange red pop out this crown can be brownish or something and then yellow the majority of it will be yellowy we look like this just kind of want to look like metal if we can I'll see in just a second I'll be able to tell whether it was successful or not what color jewel do we want we want a purple purple jewel it's my favorite people like purple a very royal color and these eyes I'm gonna make them hazel so greenish brownish a little bit brown okay now pick a water pen let's see this water pen here that I use is like that so I have I always have a paper towel nearby so I'm going to I'm gonna do the crown first because it's gonna get muddy I'm sure there's a really muddy start also with watercolors kind of neat you can if you use a paper towel you can also come back and erase erase pick up some of the water all right so I just want this I'm gonna come back and do that purple so that it stands out a little better I think that yellow will help make it look kind Kind of metallic and then I have a white Posca you guys know all about Posca I'm sure by now okay so I wanted that kind of look metallic -y. Metallica metallic e metallic e I'm gonna start on this back uh, the next thing up is this blue so make sure and leave your leave your whites white the only problem with these crayons that I found is this exact thing where it kind of covers over your black which I don't really care for, but that's because I'm, you know, coloring it on so heavy. I'm sure someone has a solution out there. All right, so this blue is coming together. A little of that off, bring some of those black lines back. The last thing I'm gonna do on here is probably the beak. Be able to tell where that orange kind of mixes in. So remember with watercolor, if you pull, while it's wet, if you pull out the colors on there, then it, it'll actually pull it off and leave the paper again somewhat. So you'll see here in a second. So you can either do it with a brush, you can pull it out like that while it's wet. You, if you're a watercolor purist, you probably hate seeing this method, but I'm not a watercolor purist. So I use this method because I like how it looks. All right, so I'm gonna come in and real, make a real hard thing on the, uh, get one of these going. And then I'm gonna rub the ink off that I don't want somewhat. And I can, I can darken some of those up again. Okay. A little color on this nose here. Get this red going under here. Bring the red down. Like that. This orange. I try to go from like an orange to a yellow, it will bleed, so. Because the yellow is lighter. Usually whatever color is darker, and this will take right over. So if you're going from green to blue, it's fine. If you go to purple, it's usually fine. Because it's darker and darker each time. I like that little tail. Look at that tail. Now, these feet, and then we'll be done here. This branch, we'll just stick a fork in it here. It's just a second. Oh, got his eyes, see? Got some cool, pulling some of that brown out. A little more green, that's that. Last thing, purple jewel up here. I did not forget. So if you want, you can also, I also like doing this with the crayons here. Do this. Actually get your brush full of paint here. And then when you go down to your art, it will keep the color a lot better. It's a lot bolder. So I need to rinse out my brush here. Actually I could do a little bit of brown. 
Very little color needed down here. Just enough to show that there's something standing on. So if I gotta clean my brush, these brushes come straight off. I just squeeze a little bit, a drop of water comes out. And like that, it's clean. Well, okay, that's about all I'm going to do on my starfish owl zebra. That's a princess with a little metallic crown. We came up with it today, right before your eyes. Hopefully you came up with something fun and that you like. Go hang it up, be proud, don't stop doing your art. Be sure and uh, like and subscribe if you want to keep seeing some of these videos. It lets me know people are watching. If you're watching, I'll keep making them, so just let me know. Tell me what you think. Happy drawing, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.